Hey everyone, Sprouls here. Welcome back to my channel where today I am going to be drinking some wine because I can. I bought this bottle. I've drunk half of it already, so that probably means this bottle of wine is perfectly drinkable and acceptable. Well, I've drunk half of it, so clearly it is perfectly acceptable wine. It is called for Weather Station from 2017 and comes from South Africa. Um, this video is just a simple review of me drinking this and saying if it's nice or not. And it smells like red wine. I'm not very good with smelling wine. All red wine just smells the same, which is red wine. And as I said, drank half the bottle already, so it's perfectly acceptable and drinkable. Didn't drink it all today though. No, not today. Had it with a couple of meals a few days ago and I thought perfect opportunity to review this wine for this video. So again it is the Weather Station red wine from Marks and Spencer. It has a style of ripe, juicy, smooth, taste blueberry, mocha, cinnamon, food, burgers, spaghetti bolognese. Though in my opinion it can go with anything. And as I said, smells of red wine which is, has a red wine smell. For one here it says, should be sensing blueberry, mocha, cinnamon. My sense of smell is terrible. You know, smells of wine. And that's it. And now, the all important taste. Again, it tastes of red wine which means it is very good and very winy. Okay, but on here it says the taste should be of blueberry, mocha and cinnamon. Can't sense the blueberry, can't sense the mocha. There was a hint of cinnamon though. I was impressed. I sensed the cinnamon. Uh, and is there anything else on here? No, not really. It says very classical wine making example there, or words to that effect. So again, wine. And it, it does the job, tastes like wine, puts me in the mood to drink more wine. It's very nice and I would happily eat this alongside any meal, except the roast. This really doesn't suit a roast. I think I'd have to do white wine for that. But as for red wine, it'd be good alongside a chili, curry, bolognese, pasta bake, burgers, anything of that type. Oh, and pizza. Pizza would be good as well. So, in summary, for my review on this wine, it is very nice and worth buying and drinking with appropriate meals. I'm very bad at reviewing wine because I can't sense all those different flavours. I think my taste buds are terrible. I think I've had too much chilli in my life. And I certainly can't smell all the, all the different flavours. But it smells as a red wine should and it tastes as a red wine should, which is very nice. But you know what does go brilliant with red wine?
crackers and cheese. Crackers and cheese. That cheese is hot! Who would put chilli in the cheese? Ah. <clears throat> but it still goes brilliantly with red wine. <laughs> Terrible mix, terrible mix, what was I thinking? <coughs> it's terrible mix. Or is it? Actually, now's the bonus gone over, that's a, that's a quite, quite a nice mix. Now what? I'm gonna go for it again. Now brings me to the end of my the Weber Station red wine review. Very nice wine, very nice and pleasant to drink, especially with cheese and crackers. Maybe not so much the chili cheese, but oh, that now brings me to the end of my the Weber Station red wine review. It's a very nice wine, highly recommend it and it goes brilliant with cheese and crackers. Just maybe not so much the uh, chili cheese though. Might uh, steer clear of that in future. If you like the video, please do like and subscribe. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll be sure to see you on a new video soon. Bye.